is a beautiful weed you have no doubt seen in your garden. It's called cat's ears. And it's a close relative of the dandelion. They're both in the Asteraceae family. And it's easy to sort of differentiate from dandelion because for a start it has hairy leaves. Can you see these hairy leaves? The other thing is that it has lobed leaf shape. So it has these rounded shapes on the leaves, whereas dandelion tends to have serrations or points that point back to the centre. And it's, it, dandelion means dandelion in French, so it's uh, teeth of the lion. So the, to identify this, it comes from a basal rosette, or it grows a, as a basal rosette, the leaves growing from a central point. And the other thing is that it has multiple sort of stems for the flowers, whereas dandelion um, put out a single stem and a single flower. So that's a really important um, identification. It has a long taproot, which is really important because it makes it a very drought tolerant plant. These fellows are everywhere in your garden and there's a bit of variation in leaf shape and hairiness but they really do grow everywhere so if you have to mow your lawn you see fit to do so perhaps harvest these before you do and have a, a really nice meal every part of the cat's ears plant is edible the flowers can be used as uh, in teas or in salads they look gorgeous the buds can be used pickled as a sort of capers substitute the stems can be steamed or anything like that. And of course the leaves are highly edible. They can be used in many dishes as a general green. Um, they can be juiced. They're highly nutritious. They have vitamin A and C very high in those. Iron, magnesium, calcium, that sort of thing. Furthermore, the root has highly medicinal qualities. It can be roasted and used as a coffee substitute. It can uh, be used to make a tincture, the bitters of which uh, are a general sort of liver tonic and organ tonic. So that has to be a good thing. Hmm, weed bounty. First thing I'm going to do is um, take all these apart and wash them in my colander. Mm hmm, be right back. And so it was that I separated out the leaves from the other. Uh, Parts. Here's the stems. Here is the beautiful roots, um, the flowers, and some seeded um, flower heads, which I will perhaps use to distribute in other places of my garden where I want these to grow. Or I might give them to a friend, who knows? Second is my kitchen. So, what I'm going to do is make a hotter, which is a Greek dish, and it's basically foraged greens, often dandelion. So I'm going to keep this really simple because I actually want to taste this green. I don't want to put too many flavorous things in like garlic. So I'm actually going to not use garlic. It's very hard for me, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going to have it with a bit of lemon, a bit of salt, and perhaps a bit of vinegar. If it's not pleasing, I could afterwards fry it with a bit of garlic. So the first step is to just rough chop this and pop it in a steamer. There she blows, steaming fantastic, can't wait. Then suddenly there was lunch. I have garnished this with yellow cat's ear petals and also some marigold petals because I had them and because it's complementary colours it, it uh, really sets off the green and a nasturtium flower, because why not? I love them and they have a great flavour. I've gone easy on the balsamic vinegar and I've gone easy on the salt, not so much on the lemon juice because I don't want it to interfere with the flavours of the greens. I'd love to know what you think or if you have any suggestions for how to do this better. Let me know. Water.